Ooh, all right, what's up guys? It is Brendan. So first off, I wanted to show off this card that I bought. Uh, I know he's not the most uh, popular of fighters, but uh, all the bumps and stuff you might see are on the, the case, not the card. I looked at the card out of case and it is perfect. So not the most popular fighter, but still champion and he's fighting TJ Dillashaw, which I also have a gold prism coming of TJ that I got a good deal on from the buyer so but yeah I, I figured I'd buy this it's 25 out of 25 and you know he is champ people might not like him and that's the perfect time to uh, scoop up cards that might be worth something in the future if he ends up doing good the rest of his career and goes to the Hall of Fame this card was 45 bucks and uh I know it's not an on-card autograph, it's like a sticker autograph, but still, 45 bucks for this, I don't even know what to call this, rainbow prism looking thing out of 25, but I try to get 30 is the highest I like to go, I like 30 and under for my autograph cards, I like the rare ones, this one looks cool, and uh, yeah, it was it was up for auction, I try to snipe auctions whenever I can. I got that one for really good. The last one of this card sold, it wasn't this number, it was a different number, sold for 77 bucks or something. So I think I did pretty good with my $45 purchase. And if I didn't, I want 45 bucks, whatever. So I have this box here. Let me just zoom out. The paper is because I'm covering up my packaging info. So you guys can't see, I haven't opened the box. It's still sealed. So normally I wouldn't be this cautious, but I'm going to open it live. I know you guys can't really see me doing it, but anyway, normally I wouldn't be this cautious. I didn't read the reviews on this seller, but I have them up in case uh, things don't go right. I'll explain it as I open this here. So this seller has 111,000 plus like, like transactions on eBay. 100% positive rating yet I looked at his neutral and negative reviews there's one negative in the last six months and there is there's a bunch of peanuts in the box here and there is 44 ish um Neutral, there's 44 neutral and one negative. The negative one straight up says the seller went through the box, resealed it, blah, blah, blah. The 45, uh, four neutral ones all say, oh, this seller uh, definitely searched through the product, you know, this and that. And some of them don't even know that they got duped. And it's just like, oh, I got nothing. It was a bad box. But I mean... I'm sure there's bad boxes out there, but all of these comments were saying that they got nothing, like absolutely nothing, and that doesn't happen, especially when there's a product like this that's like $500. This is a $500 box, so I'm checking it. The box seems good, but I mean, then again, I don't know, like, it looks good, but I mean, you never know if people could reseal it with heat. It's it's on there. I mean, it looks good to me. Like I wouldn't be able to do this, you know. I'm just the average, average Joe here. But so this it seems good. It seems good. We're hoping it's good. So far, all the products I was reading, those 45 reviews are from products that are under like a hundred bucks and under. So I'm getting a lot of resistance opening this box. So it seems good. And I hope it is, you know, I don't want to have to make a, a dispute claim or whatever on eBay. I've only had to do it once, and I'm not afraid to do it again, but I don't want to do it again. I want to have fun opening a legit box and getting a legit, you know, even if it's a bad box, as long as it's a legit box, it's all I want. I just want to have fun opening this. So that's the first thing. Always read the reviews, even if they're 100%. Sometimes there's neutral ones because people didn't want to wait the uh, time frame or whatever. Although I think it's the same now, it might be different. Second thing, sure you can pull like amazing one-on-ones, amazing gold and rainbow, whatever prisms, 
worth thousands of dollars, but you are better off buying the individual cards you want than, than getting a box like this. Like 500 bucks and I could get nothing. I could get two autographs of people that are garbage, you know? Like, so if, all right, so the first thing I'm noticing I don't know if it's supposed to be upside down. The, the box that I watched someone open, the, the packs were upside down. And these ones are not. Is there a way to fold this so it stands upright? I have no idea how to do this. All right, we're just gonna hope for the best. There we go. Now the thing with these, if it is resealed, Packs don't even need to be opened, I'm pretty sure, for someone to, they could just weigh everything in here. So we're going to open this, we're going to see, there should be, like it says, there should be um, 22, two autographs per box on average. And I think it said something like 22 prisms or something. So we're going to see, if there's zero autographs in this box, 100% search through, but as of right now, I can't tell. Looks all right. I mean, I don't know. Looks all right. We're hoping for the best. I don't want any issues. I just want to have fun opening my packs. You know what I mean? I like having fun. So we got one of my least favorite fighters, Cody Garbrandt. Shogun Rua. Justin Gagey. Tiago Moises. We got a Rob font. Is this a special card? I don't even know. No, this is just a... Uh, it's not numbered. It's just red. I don't really have a spot to put things. I was not prepared. Um, hmm. Uh... Hey, April, could you bring me like a, a tissue or something? Yeah. I just, I want to put these cards on something. Can you just put it like right there? Thanks. You're welcome. I'm going to put this in a wrap. <laughs> All right, this card is face down. What is this? Oh, it's a... Uh, Oh, it's one of these scratch off and redeem cards. 2022 Panini Prism Signatures Prism Red. Zhang Wei Li. Expires 9 23 23. Oh, that's pretty sweet. I, I didn't know that was in here. A redemption card. So I guess this is one of my autographs is a Zhang Weili. Not a bad card to get, but not good for a camera, I guess. Joanna, Darren Till. There's the champ, Francis. Oh, we got a rookie card here. Interesting, I was not expecting an insert as one of my cards. I wonder if that actually counts as one of my autographs. What did it say? It was a red prism or something? We got Sean O'Malley. Kevin Lee. Felicia Spencer. Raphael. Oh, we got my boy Colby. Colby Covington. Oh, this is a number two out of eight. That's pretty sweet. Colby's one of, can my phone focus? There we go, number two out of eight. I was not expecting that. That's a good, good fighter to get a two out of eight of. I just ordered one of his gold prism cards too. 
That's sweet. Getting some hits out of these first two packs here. And we got, uh, I don't know who this is, a rookie. Is it numbered? It is numbered. A rookie card out of 149. So maybe this box, maybe $500 product is uh, a little bit too expensive for this guy to try messing with. What is this? Is this a special Kevin Lee card or is this... It's not numbered. I don't know if, if these are regular now or unique. What do we get here? Alexander Volkanovsky. I'd love to get an autograph card of him. Oh, that's pretty sweet though. Kobe Covington, two out of eight. I don't know what that'll go for, but that's probably worth getting graded. It's not the shiniest looking card, but it's still sweet looking because of who it is, especially. Jose Aldo. Oh, we got the man, DC. Numbered out of 299. The double champ, what is that? What are we calling this, Red Prism? And then what is this? This one definitely looks uh, sparklier than the last one I just pulled in, so I'm gonna... Kevin Lee's not even in the UFC anymore. He's with Eagle FC now. What's that called, like Disco or something? And we got a Fireworks Sean O'Malley. Not the biggest fan of Sean O'Malley, I mean. He's he's good, I guess, but he's not fighting anyone, like, good, you know what I mean? He's doing good fighting unranked fighters, and I think the one ranked fighter he fought, he got destroyed, and he's making all these ex excuses. I'm like, I kind of get it. Like, I guess if he really did hurt his leg, I'd be mad, too. But, like, I don't know. I don't think he was going to win that fight regardless. Alright, who do we get here? We got the champ, Charles Oliveira. And I dropped him. Look at me go. It's not even numbered, it's just a red prism, unnumbered. Charles Oliveira card. That's weird, I thought these were all numbered. Pretty sure the last red one was numbered. Still cool. The champ. Is this a special card, Sean O'Malley? I feel like it is. I'll sleep this one up. I feel like this one has more like a rainbowy tint to it. Don't like him, but I understand that people like him, so you know we'll wrap it up. Another Charles Oliveira card. Some rookie cards. I gotta figure out what I'm doing with this set. How many packs was that? Like three? This pack has some weirdness going on with it. See that? Like the machine pressed it incorrectly or something. This looks. I don't know what to think about that. I feel like that's probably a machine uh, 
error though and not it's not a human error but we can only hope right George St. Pierre another legend Ooh, who do we get someone I've never heard of let's put him down it's a rookie card Oh, there's a backwards card, baby, and I see a backwards card. This is numbered out of 299, by the way, if it'll focus. This is someone's rookie card. Kennedy, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that guy's last name. His name is Kennedy, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> this card is backwards. Is it an autograph? Nope. It is a unnumbered disco looking prism card not too familiar with the names sorry about that the names of the type of card I mean some of these cards are really weird looking Jan Blahovich we got Khabib be sweet to get a Khabib autograph oh, I'm sorry I'm not on the screen here alright that, that pack was weird I think that was just factory error though. I don't think I don't think that was anything more than that. Yeah, they seem good. Uh, maybe he didn't want to mess with with the five hundred dollar boxes. He's sticking to tampering with a hundred bucks and under, and that's fine with me. Regardless, I probably won't buy from this guy ever again, even if this is a legit box, just because of what I saw on the reviews. All it takes is one bad review to ruin. Ooh, who is this? Out of 99. I don't know who this is. I'm not like the most familiar with this is the orange prism, I guess. I thought it was gold, but I don't know the orders that cards come in the packs either. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, like I said, it's fun to open these. If you got the extra money, it's fun to open these kind of cards. We got a Fearless Connor McGregor, numbered seven in the set. I'll separate all the, all the random mini sets in the main set later. So yeah, Zing, Zang, uh, what was her name? Wei Li? Yeah, Zang Wei Li. I don't know why I forgot that for a second. Zang Wei Li's not a bad auto to get. I didn't technically get it. I have to send a, send to get it. I don't even know. I gotta go on the website and like figure out what to do there. I see some shiny looking cards coming up. I don't want to get too excited about that one I just saw, but. Oh, this isn't numbered. All right, all right. Red Prism, unnumbered Red Prism. Still cool. And then we got it. Tiago Moises, rookie card. The, uh, I don't know what to call these. Silver? Is it silver? It's like a reverse hollow in like any other card collecting pack. We got a fireworks George St. Pierre. Well, I think there's something stuck to GSP. That's cool. GSP. Maybe that's what I saw. So that's not as exciting as what I thought. There's a bunch of these cards that are stuck together. There's a surreal gun. Michael Chessa. All right, what do we have left here? One, two, three, four, five. So what is it? We did seven packs. This pack's feeling chunky. Hope 
hopefully we get an actual autograph card and not one that I have to send out for you. Come on. Doesn't want to focus on this guy. It just doesn't like this person, I guess. Hey, there's a Patty the Batty rookie card. That's the first one from. I have some from the blue ones. I might just keep that one aside. Oh, we got a John Jones. I'd love to get his autograph. John Bowen Jones. Seems like all the greats are becoming controversial, uh, controversial lately. The stuff they do outside, I do not like me should say it at all. So I could not care any less about this and it's numbered out of 299. Misha Tate. I wish she never won the belt, but she did. So we got a purple prism rookie out of 149. Jeff Molina. Yeah, no, I, I don't like Misha Tate. I don't like Ronda Rousey either, but the stuff that Misha Tate was saying, I just, I don't know. I don't have any respect for her. Fearless Nate Diaz. Hey, Gilbert Burns almost forgot he was even in the UFC. He just lost to uh, Kamzat Chemaev, who is like the hottest rookie prospect, whatever you want to call him, ever <laughs> right now. Uh, that's a little concerning. Okay, but is it just this fun part here? I don't know what to think about that. Doesn't seem like the pack itself is open, it just... Switch cards. It doesn't like the first card for some reason. Carlos Barza. I see a blue card. Stipe Miocic. And it's someone that I don't know off the top of my head. Ryan Spann at a 199. Or Spawn. I don't know how this guy pronounces it. I don't, I do watch the UFC, but I don't keep track of, and we got another one of those like disco-y Sean O'Malley cards. I don't keep track of like the lower tier, like the prelim fights and stuff like that. I try not to damage these cards, but some of them just don't want to go in. Edson Barboza, that's a guy I haven't seen in a while. Dino Cerrone. Paul Craig rookie card, Alex Perez, Daun Jung rookie card, and Austin Lingo rookie card. Got three packs left. Still looking for one more auto. Smith just lost last weekend. Derek the Beast Lewis. 
Paulo Costa. Oh, there's the man right there. Alexander Volkanovsky. Not numbered. Of course, the good fighter is not numbered. Red Prism card. We got a Charles Oliveira and what, a silver card, I guess? Is that what we call these? I don't know. I might have even missed the first one. It might be my pile of random cards. I'll have to go back and look. Come on, go in the sleeve without damaging the card. Oh, dude. Why has this happened to me? There we go. Who's this? Oh, another Alexander Volkanovsky. Calvin Gastelum. A rookie card. And we got the final two packs here. Hoping for one more autograph. See what we get here. Mackenzie Dern, Joanna Georgia. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I can pronounce her name right. Chase Hooper. Who is this? Ooh, out of 25, number 11 out of 25, Tatiana Suarez. Oh my goodness, the phone just fell over. Anyway. Oh, we got a Khabib prism, but it's not numbered. I wish this one was out of 25 instead of that last one. What is this, like a disco prism card? It's Amanda Nunez. Marlon Marias, Johnny Walker, rookie card, Casey O'Neill rookie card. All right, we are on to the last pack here. Time, but you see how it's like it's, it's like different. Yeah, you see that right there. I don't know if it'll focus. Oh my god, my phone is so useless. This pack is like... It has a hole at the top. Right here. Like it was glued back together. Like the top was was cut and then glued back. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. I guess we'll see what's in the last pack here.
Neil Darius, Frankie Edgar. Rob Font. Not numbered. Oh. Definitely a weird looking card. Oh, okay. Oof. <laughs> Last pack. Not a bad autograph card to get. Brian Ortega. Making me sweat. Making me wait till the very last pack and the pack looked like it was tampered with too. It had like a hole at the... I couldn't get it on camera, but it had like a hole in this corner. Brian Ortega. Definitely not a bad card. He, just, he did get destroyed, but... Alright, that's pretty sweet though. Made his way all the way to the last pack. Grant Dawson rookie card. I might have left a card, one of the like silver cards or whatever in the pile down there, but nothing I can do about it now. I guess I'll show a recap before I put them all together. So, unfortunately, one of the autographs is one of these. Not a bad thing, though, because it's a, uh, a red prism. I don't know what that would be out of, like, 49 maybe, maybe higher. I don't know. But, come on, man. Focus. Focus, camera. Focus, camera. Card number 42, Zhang Wei Li. Champion, so I guess I gotta scratch that off and redeem it. Second autograph was Brian Ortega. Not numbered, unfortunately, but still decent card. Got Rob Font, whatever you call this card. I don't know, it's not numbered. And I dropped it. We got some Khabib action. The Disco Light card, not numbered. Tatiana Suarez, numbered, I believe, out of 25. Charles Oliveira, I'm going to call that silver. Alexander Volkanovsky, red prism, but not numbered. It's unfortunate. Sean O'Malley, I think we got two of these, like, Disco Light ones. Ryan Spann, Blue Prism, numbered out of 199. Jeff Molina, Rookie Card, numbered out of 149. Misha Tate, like red looking Prism, numbered out of 299. Rookie, Tiago Moises, Silver Card again, I guess. Whoever that is, Red Prism. I thought this was gold, but I guess it's an orange card. Numbered out of 99 for that one. 95 out of 99. Got Uriah Hall. Kennedy. Red rookie card out of 299. Another silverish. Sean O'Malley, Charles Oliveira, Red Prism, Unnumbered, Kevin Lee. Man, I need to learn what these cards are called. We got a Daniel Cormier, numbered out of 299. It doesn't want to focus, whatever. Carol Rosa, there we go. Rookie card, numbered out of 149. 
144. This, right, I'm putting this one in the front. All right, we got an Arab font, unnumbered. So this right here, all the cards just went everywhere. All right. I don't know what to call this, but it's Colby Covington. Two out of an eight. Two out of eight. So now I have his, whatever this is called, two out of eight. I got his gold prism autograph out of 10 coming. I'll have an update later on those. So yeah, it looks like the box was, was legitimate. I got the two out of eight card. I got a champion red prism autograph redemption code, which uh, my phone doesn't want to show again, but it's Zhang Wei Li. She's not champion now, but she was. There we go. I'll probably do that right after this. And then we got Brian Ortega. Not champion, but definitely up there in the top ranks. Could be champion someday. I think he's still young. Maybe by the time I get all these graded, he'll uh, become champion and it'll be worth more. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I don't know if I'll be buying any more of these boxes, especially not anytime soon, probably if I do. But I will make videos showing you all the uh, the updates on what I'm getting in the mail coming soon. Like I said, so far it's just the, the Aljamain Sterling autograph that I got uh, this one right here. But I got more cards on the way, and I'll keep you guys posted. I hope you enjoyed. See you guys next time.